I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a community helper, the police. I take one finger in the center and underneath I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a small curved line to the left, little curved line out. Come back to the dot, small curved line to the right, little curved line down. Come back to the left. We're going to draw a slightly curved line across. One straight line on the left, one straight line on the right, slightly curved line across, and connect. Come back to the left, and we're going to draw a big curved line down, up, connect. We're going to come inside this space and draw a curved line up. Curve line down, come back to the left, curve line down, up, connect. I come back to the left. I draw a straight line, curve line, straight line up, connect. I come inside and I draw one dot, two dots, curve line, big curve line, little curve line on the right, little curve line on the left. I come down below and I draw a straight line on the left, straight line on the right, slightly curved line, connect. I come up on this side on the left and I draw a curved line out and connect, jump over, curve line out and connect. Inside I draw one baby circle on the left one baby circle on the right. I come up to the left and I draw a curve line out, in, out, in, connect on the left, curve line out, in, out, in, connect on the right. I come back to the left. I draw a straight line down, curve line over, straight line up, connect. I come straight down and I draw a straight line on the left, straight line on the right, slightly curved line over, connect. Right in the center I draw one, two straight lines, and a baby one, two, three, four straight lines inside if you have room. One, two straight lines, one, two straight lines. Come up to the top. Straight diagonal down, up, connect. On the left, straight diagonal up, down, connect on the right. Right here, we're just going to draw a curve line up, curve line up, curve line down and up, connect. And if you have some room, some dots. Okay? Come down here on the left, we're going to draw a straight diagonal out. Slightly curved line in, straight diagonal up, leave it floating. Come on the right hand side, straight diagonal down, curve line over, straight diagonal up, connect. Come down on the left, we're going to draw a curved line on the left, curve line on the right. Come back to the left, mimic that line again, curve line curve line. We're going to draw one, two little curve lines, loop, loop on top, on the left, one, two little curve lines, loop, loop on the right. Come back up here to the right, straight diagonal out, curve line in, connect, little curve line over, connect. Come on the left, Straight diagonal out, curve line in, connect, little curve line, connect. Come right about here and we're just going to go straight line down, over, connect on the left, straight line down, over, connect on the right. 
straight line out, straight line in, straight line down, straight line out, straight line in, straight line down. Okay. We don't want her floating in space, so we're going to draw a horizon line to give her a little bit of weight. All right. Over here on the left, we're going to draw a straight line, curve line down, curve line down, straight line, leave it floating, curve line up, down, straight line off the paper, come back over, curve line in, up, connect, curve line in, up, connect, Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect, come up on the top, straight line, curve line down, connect, little straight lines, okay? Come inside and let's just put curve line, curve line, connect, curve line, straight line down, connect, little straight line, okay? Now, I'm going to do a background straight line over, straight line down, leave it floating. Straight line over, straight line down, leave it floating. Straight line up, over, jump over, straight line down, leave it floating. Straight line, straight line down, leave it floating. Straight line up, down, leave it floating, straight line off the paper. This is the police. It can be a policeman, a policewoman, and they are here to serve and protect. Very important community helpers. Now I'm going to add a dotted line going around the borders, whoops, of my paper just to finish off my drawing. Okay? Community helpers. Alright, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the police come in all colors, all genders, all sizes. I'm going to start off coloring these spaces yellow in this space yellow and I'm going to put some yellow straight lines down here at the bottom. Then I'm going to take my green and I'm just going to do some straight lines of green in my background. Okay? Now can you use a different color? Of course you can. It's up to you. Once I've done my green, now I come back in because I want it to look kind of urban, city, and I'm using my gray, and I'm adding some gray lines. That's all. You don't have to do a lot. Now, I come over here to my squad car, my police car, and I'm going to color part of my light red. Skip a little space if you have room and color a little part of the bar blue. I take my gray and I color in this space gray, this space gray, and this space gray. Now I come over to this little space here if you can fit it in. This should be gray and gray and this can be gray and gray, and this can be gray and gray. Okay. Now, I'm going to make this multicultural decision and color in my body parts this color. Okay. Don't forget your neck. Then, with my brown, I'm going to give her real dark brown hair. Okay, you'll do a better job than me coloring this in. We know that already. Come down, I'm going to lightly do my brown shoes. Brown shoes. I'm going to color this part dark. Now, you can color this in any way you want. My suggestion only. 
I'm going to come up and I'm going to color in my space up here black. And I'm going to color my space down here black. Okay. And I'm going to color, oops, I forgot a line here. Let's make that a line. And I'm going to color this part of my car. We'll make this black. Okay. If you've got room, you can color these little stripes black. And then I'm going to take my blue. And I'm going to color in this space blue. This space blue. This space blue. This space blue. Now, depending on where you are, your police people might look a little bit different uniform-wise. Make your adjustments. Okay. And finally, I'm going to take my black and I'm going to color just some black stripes down here at the bottom. Color in this space black. And I think that's all. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my police officer all colored in, ready to serve and protect to keep our communities safe. Remember, a community helper is a person in your community that helps others. Okay, bye-bye.